Welcome to the Intel Mac i5-3250U Hackintosh tutorial. Okay, the very first step is you're going to need to know a little bit about Hackintoshing. <laughs> I know this may sound a little weird, but this is kind of an advanced video, and this is for specific hardware only. If people buy this type of hardware, uh, it, most likely they have built their own computers before, they have messed with other operating systems before, and this is very specific. If you're a first time Hackintosher watching this video, I suggest you go to uh, some other channels that have a little bit more general knowledge on the topic. I am very much aware that OS X 10.11 El Capitan is already out. I won't be able to do the video on that version of OS X. We're going to be doing it with Yosemite 10.10. .10. We have to use a very specific kernel that I have a link to in the description to make this Hackintosh boot up. And that kernel was specifically made for 10.10 .10 Yosemite, not El Capitan. So ever since El Captain came out on the App Store, Yosemite has been removed from download. You're going to have to download it some other way. Um, you can continue watching the rest of this clip, or you can skip ahead to the next step. This is just a method that I use uh, to go download torrents for anything. So I don't know if this one will actually work for you. You're going to have to find your own way of downloading 10.10 .10, uh, via some type of file sharing means. You absolutely need to get a copy of 10.10 .10 that has not been modified. Alrighty, so downloading Unibeast and Clover is pretty straightforward. The links I've got in the description take you straight there. All you need to have for uh, to be able to download Unibeast is to log in to TonyMacX86.com. Um, Clover, you don't need to log into any sort of website. It's just kind of there on SourceForge. You can just download it straight from the website. You get the latest one. Um, the NUC install pack. This is a little bit tricky. I have to show you exactly where to go to download the NUC install pack. There is a member of the Tony Mac website called Minihack who did a really great job in making a guide and he put together the NUC install pack for us to download straight from Tony Mac X86. So we're going to go to this guy's uh, thread in the website and towards the bottom of the page you will find the link to download the NUC install pack which has lots of tools that we're going to be using uh, for this install. All right, UniBeast installed. The very next step is to put the flash drive in your computer. And oh, uh, yeah, push it in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, you have to have eight gigabytes or more of USB memory to install OS X to the flash drive. And we're going to use uh, disk utility here to format the flash drive to be able to install UniBeast on the flash drive. So let's uh, name it UniBeast. And let's go over to options. Make sure it's GUID partition table. And apply. Format the flash drive. All right, now let's install UniBeast. Just agree. And this is a normal UniBeast install. This is the same process you'd go through uh, for any other Hackintosh. Type in your password, okay, let it go. Travel through time a little bit. And should be done. All right, success. If that didn't work, that means you don't have a, a good copy of OS X. Um, after we're done, we're gonna take this 
NUC install pack NUC essentials file folder. Put the whole folder inside the flash drive because we're going to need that later on. Okay, so now we have that folder inside the flash drive. Okay, let's just leave it there for now. Let's worry about that later. Clover install. Now for the Clover install, we have to first um, open up Clover, which you have downloaded already. And yours should be the latest one. Continue, continue. Now, important, change install location. Make sure you click that and choose your UniBeast flash drive because Clover is what's gonna allow the computer to boot up. So we're gonna customize what we have for Clover. Take a look at this real quick and pause the video if you need to. These are all the things you need to have checked off. These are all your drivers. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and install Clover. The flash drive is done. Okay, um, now we're gonna take the NUC Essentials entire the whole thing the, what everything that's inside of this folder the NUC essentials we're going to copy this into our clover bootloader so this is just the efi partition that is mounted to the flash drive inside it there's a folder called clover go inside clover and we're going to move all the stuff from the NUC essentials folder click apply to all and replace inside of this clover folder okay all done good now the flash drive should be bootable oh make sure you uh, take clover and put it inside your flash drive too because you're also going to need that later after you know after you're done installing um you know yosemite you're gonna have to do this same exact process to the hard drive so everything you just did was to the flash drive later we're gonna do that to the hard drive okay bio settings for the bio settings just take a look. You're gonna need all these things checked off. You need to have everything exactly how I have it, except for you can change the uh, the video port if you want to. Uh, this needs to be yeah, legacy boot mode. Okay. It is time to recollect, maybe get a <laughs> cup of coffee and get ready for uh, the long haul. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's uh, Let's get it done. All right, turn it on. Let's let's get ready to, you know, select our flash drive to boot into. So remember when we installed Clover? Yeah, Clover. Clover is a bootloader. Um, we're gonna use Clover to boot into our USB installer, and it should say UEFI USB bootloader. All right, we're in Clover. Shouldn't have to do anything special. Just launch the installer from the flash drive. And and it's gonna take a while to start up. Should take like, you know, 10 minutes or so. Um, welcome to the installer. At this point in time, your Wi-Fi should be working. If you have gotten the network card I suggested you get in the description. Continue, continue, agree, because we agree. And we're gonna do the same thing we did to the flash drive earlier when we were installing UniBeast in Clover. First things first is to format it. So let's go over to partition, select one partition, name it whatever you want. This is your hard, this is gonna be your, uh, your hard drive. I'm just gonna name it OS X. Make sure you have GUI partition table checked off, okay. Apply the settings and get ready to erase the entire hard drive. Now we are ready for the long haul. Usually takes 20 minutes or so. And uh, if it, everything went well, you should be welcome. You shouldn't have to reboot or anything. It should just come straight into um, the you know the setup. All right. Um, this is the exciting part because now you get to see your brand new Hackintosh for the very first time. Um, so don't reboot, <laughs> go straight into installing Clover. Okay, at this point, remember that we actually put Clover inside of your flash drive a while ago. Let's grab it out of the flash drive and run it 
and this time we are going to in change our install location but this time leave it you want it you want it on the hard drive this time not the flash drive you saw the flash drive in this video don't do that choose the hard drive this time okay so now the EFI partitions mounted in the hard drive go inside EFI go inside Clover and remember what we did to the flash drive earlier go into your flash drive and remember you moved over the NUC essentials okay like we did last time we're going to take the entire NUC essentials uh, contents and put it inside the Clover EFI partition of the hard drive now you have a real Intel NUC Hackintosh that can boot on its own and congratulations well, I just want to say thank you for making it all the way to the end, and I hope you get your Hackintosh running, and I hope you love it, and want to do some really cool stuff like video editing and music creation and all this crazy hacking stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, please subscribe to me. Benchmark video coming out soon after this video comes out of this Intel NUC i5 fourth generation Hackintosh.